Now we'll see a, a video having to do with our next inductee, Joyce Dreslin. So here's the At the same time, I'm sad that Henry couldn't make it, my good friend, that he couldn't be with us tonight. This honor meant so much to him. And the prospect of coming tonight kept him going and brought him so much joy in the months of planning for it. So first of all, I want to thank Cindy Benson, who deserves the Hall of Fame induction herself for all she did. from the nominations to keeping tabs on Henry and then on to this evening's event. It's been a massive job and she tackled it with her usual style and grace. Thank you, Cindy, and hope you take some time off now to just chill. And I wanna thank my family and all my friends who made it here to Waco. They came from far and near. A special shout out to my daughter, Courtney who got me into this volunteer game when she signed on to Girls 12s. And my son-in-law, Jeff, who says that my investment in her tennis was better investment than the one I did for her law school. <laughs> so thank you. Next, thank you to the selection committee and all those friends and colleagues who shared their joy stories with them. I'm mostly pleased that they went outside the box to choose someone like me for their non-tennis playing abilities. As a writer who has been helping Jim Chaffin in the Hall of Fame highlight their nominations and selections, I know that the playing talents represented in the, within the membership are admirable. In fact, when I got Jim's call, I checked the alphabetical listings of the HOF members. I got as far as B, and I said, uh-oh, there's Tuck Bartson. Whoa, I'm now on play level with Tuck Bartson? On the other hand, I spent 37 years behind the scenes and as a tennis volunteer, and in the last decade or so, bringing adaptive versions of tennis to those who are living with disabilities. As Cindy also said, it's heartwarming that they can be looked upon as athletes and not merely as disabled persons. Thanks to Pat and Dennis Vandermeer for starting me down that path. Of course, my dentist and others think that if I'm in the Texas Hall of Fame, I must be a player who is comparable to Chris Evans. That's okay. 
But when I called my New York friend, Susan, to tell her I was being inducted into the Hall of Fame, there was this very long silence at the other end of the phone. Then she asked, the one in Newport? <laughs> when I set her straight, she immediately said, I'm coming. And even though Waco may not be like some of our other tennis destinations, we've traveled together. Dubai, London, Basel, uh, Geneva, and working together at many US Opens, uh, she did come. And in fact, I have four other people from New York, three family members from Connecticut, one from Oklahoma, uh, and then two friends from Ohio, and one from Omaha. Do I win the prize for having the guests traveling the farthest? <laughs> I'm deeply touched by such support. I still play recreational tennis three times a week, and my greatest playing achievement may be that I still have all my original knees, shoulders, and other parts. So I'm thankful for this great ride. You've no, no doubt read what I've given to tennis, but tennis has given a lot to me. I leave you with the quote from Arthur Ashe, what we get, we can make a living. What we give, however, makes a life. I think I have a few more years to give. Thank you. Oh, I have to take this jacket off.